Hello everybody, welcome to Spookware, episode 2, the long-awaited continuation of one of the spookiest and funnest games. Hell yeah! Exactly, fact. Exactly. Now that's actually one of, ironically, I love that win, uh, the win cue that plays when you, when you, uh, when you beat a micro game. But that was actually one of my minor complaints in my review last year, was I actually would think it'd be better if they had more win sounds, because it was only hell yeah every time, as awesome as it was. So I'm curious to see if they potentially added more win sounds. So something we're gonna wanna look out for. But anyway, Spookware, one of the, probably one of the, the most fun, um, games I played last year because unbeknownst to me until I really played it not only is it inspired by WarioWare which is one of my favorite franchises it also has a lot of pa Paper Mario in there a lot, of, a lot of Paper Mario walking around exploration talking to people in between the micro games I like half or most of the game actually is probably spent doing that so pretty cool stuff Let's go ahead and get in here. So I don't know how long this is going to be. I think last time it took me about four hours, four and a half hours, maybe. Uh oh. This might just be how we start. Um, go back to the basement. No. Okay. Maybe you get in the car to select the episode. Actually, I probably should have looked into this more before I started this. My pride and joy, listen to that engine, boys. Let's get in and bounce. Yeah, let's go for a ride. But, uh, hey, Blaze and Fack and Asian Sleepy. Okay, so episode one was the prologue. Right, and then there's chapters within the episode, which we did all the chapters. And now, if you guys remember, so here's a, here's a little, um, recap. First chapter, we, we spent a long time in the basement, like a long time, which I guess was kind of referenced in like the initial demo of this game. We went to high school for the first time and then graduated the same day. We were trying to just go to high school, we graduated. We went on this cruise where a murder mystery happened that we had to solve. And then we went, we inherited this uh, restaurant from this guy we met on the boat and we had to like find all these recipes and stuff to cook and somehow I actually don't remember exactly what happened we, we did something illegal oh I think it wasn't actually that guy's restaurant I think we just took over someone's restaurant that wasn't his and so we got arrested for it so now we're in prison and that's where episode two starts and actually I'm curious oh, okay so we can't look at how many um Oh, there's only two chapters in episode two. There's three in the first one, so the episode two might be a little bit shorter. I guess we'll find out in a second here. Last time I took a uh, break in between the second chapter I did, so that maybe we'll do the whole episode tonight. Um, at least the prison looks like a pretty cool place. Oh, Bones, we're gonna freeze to death. Stop this bus. My general bones can't take it. Don't worry, buddy. We're tough bones. All right, we're on. We're on our way to prison. Wow. <laughs> well, at least we have a pretty spacious room. Righty's voice is super similar to the uh, how people sound in Travis Strikes Again. Did I ever watch the Halloween movies? I've seen Halloween like one, two, and three. And I might have seen parts of some of the later ones, but I, I don't know the later ones that well. Um But yeah, but the the, the like the first few of them I've seen, and I know they just came out with what's supposed to be like the final final one. <clears throat> Someone get me out of here! 
I'm innocent. Whoa, calm down, little buddy. I've never seen whoa spelt like that before. We're only in here for, uh... Wait, how long are we in here for? Is anyone else having difficulty breathing? I don't think there's enough air here for the three of us. Oh, it looks like a pretty good amount of room. Oh! Cell 247, stand up on your feet. Your daily air allowance starts now. Oh, thank bones. Oh! We weren't- we didn't have any air. Oh, you saw Halloween Ends? It was a fun movie. That's surprising because it seemed like at that point they were really driving that series like in, into the, the dead horse beating contest. That's how the saying goes, right? Um, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 20... Wait, Ultimate. I don't know what that is, but good luck with, with your, your, your Dragon Ball. Okay, we're going to the courtyard. Whoa. All prisoners are to be at the courtyard at present time. You take the stairs down and take the left exit. We won't tolerate loitering. Dude, we really here. We really out here. Hey, you three seem new here. Are you? Yes. Yes, we've never been to a prison before. Alright, listen up, kid. Don't go picking fights, just lay low. And don't just talk to everybody you see. Damn it! That's exactly what we're going to do. They knew it. Yeah, like the heat wobble, right? There's like a heat wobble effect. Yeah, I was like kind of subconsciously noticing that. And then I said I walked into it thinking to be bad, but it ain't. Uh, bad. The kills are pretty neat. The ending was satisfying. Well, that's good. You know what? I saw like the newer, newest Scream movie, and that wasn't too bad either, from what I remember. Actually, it was pretty decent. Um, and I think it like actually connected more to the original Scream than most of the other sequels. But I don't. It's been a long time since I've seen any Scream movie, so. Hey, kid, come here and open the door for me. I haven't been outside in so long. But all the prisoners are supposed to be in the courtyard right now. Don't wander around too much. It makes me queasy. Here I go wandering again. Oh. Fine. This door will take you to the courtyard. Would you say that Shawshank Redemption is inadvertently a horror movie, uh reference just because it's a Stephen King story and he like 99% of his stuff is horror and then suddenly Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it had like a sort of a self-awareness to it, like in reference to the earlier movies. The prisoner studies you closely. The hawk flies during the night. Is this some kind of code language? Yes. Wait, I know you three. Didn't you guys have that famous restaurant? Yes, we did. That's us. Wow, what happened to it? How come you're in here? We decided to move on and do something new. Prison is, uh, yeah. Prison's definitely something new. Yeah, that's not exactly quite what happened, but close enough. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn second. I thought they said exit to the left. Maybe they meant our left, which would be the uh, my right. Yeah. It doesn't look like it goes to the courtyard. Maybe we could go in here later. What? These must all be isolation cells. I really don't want to be in one of these. Oh, this must be the courtyard door. There's a new Jeepers Creepers? I didn't even know that. I know the first two uh, Jeepers Creepers. They're like Vector the Crocodile. I only know a little bit about Vector because I'd never really played any of the games that he's in. 
Because he was like one of the Chaotix characters, right? Don't get too close to the fence now. Why is it electrified? Oh. Wonder where this door goes. Don't think we should be entering random doors in a prison. Yeah, let's enjoy our fresh air. Boys! Mr. Blue? Wait a minute. This is the guy that got us... Is This was the guy who supposedly gave us our restaurant, I think. I never... Oh, that's right. He was getting arrested. And he left us his restaurant. So he, he, he's been here since the boat episode. Let alone in a place like this. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same prison? Certainly not me. Wait, if you're here, does that mean... Did they find the basement? What? No, we're in here for tax fraud. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, that old thing. Well, no need to worry then. Wait, what's in the basement? Moving on. Welcome to the prison, boys. This is a ruthless place. Full of the worst scum on this bone-forsaken planet. And yours truly. See those guys over there in the basketball court? They're the worst. They stole a very important tool of mine. Basketball? Something I've used to escape places like these before. Maybe it was my fault for challenging them to a 1v3 basketball match. Well, I guess that's just how life is. Uh... If only I didn't lose that basketball match. Hey, there's three of us. A junction box, wonder what it's doing out here. Junctioning. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? My bones have frozen onto this seat. Well, good thing you're standing on it. You're not sitting on it. Enjoy what little fresh air you have. What a beautiful view. I wouldn't have been able to see this back home. Big Brandon? The name's Big Brandon. What's your name? Wide Wilson. And who's the leader? Tall Tony. Get off, boy. This basketball court's mine. Yeah, you tell him, Tony. We'd like to challenge you to a basketball match. Us three versus you three. Boss, are you gonna let this guy talk to you like that? Huh. Don't worry. We'll settle this on the court. We accept your challenge. We've been undefeated since 78. These kids can't even touch us. Challenge Tall Tony and his gang to a game of basketball. Yes, here we go. Oh yeah, the writing has not missed a beat for sure. Alright, Tony, it's on. Only my mother's allowed to call me Tony. Your nickname's Tall Tony. Uh-oh. Oh, do I... Whoops. Uh-oh, so I wasn't ready. Holy crap, did I just fail completely? Okay. I think this is one of those games where it's like a one micro game. Because when you're outside in the world, you do like single micro games in random places. And then you come... And then in between that, you do like a, a round of micro games. And also, I forgot this. Um, each chapter in the, the first episode um, had sort of a different theme, like a control scheme that was different. Like one chapter used like the mouse extensively, another chapter used, used like the arrow keys. So this one seems to be using like the whole keyboard, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, so... I'm scared I'm gonna mess up now. <laughs> oh! I stopped! What happened? I looked over the ch- okay. I thought we were done. Let's try that again. Oh, I see. What a dunk. Yeah. I need to make sure the micro game's done before I look away. Wow, that was way more intense than I expected. Ugh, how was this possible? Who are you skeletons? Do you want me to beat them up, Tony? Wilson, come on, man. We haven't beaten anyone up since 77. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. All this basketball made me think of the past. I understand. These young skeletons have given us a new reason to train. And in time, we'll be able to beat them. 
In basketball, that is. You've been us fair and square, boys. What do you want as your reward? Actual escape or love. Um, I feel like any of these is going to give us what we want. So the funniest one selection would be love. So let's let's see what they say. Your love, Tony. Ever since I saw- Oh no, I didn't realize this would go this far. Ever since I saw you standing there, so tall. I just couldn't take my eyes off of you. Enough kidding around. Tell me what you really want. I know that's just a generic text-to-speech voice. All I can hear is Ultra Kill memes. Yeah, I was I was thinking of Travis Strikes Again, the video game voices are similar as well. Um Ooh, now I'm curious about which one will he'll also say let's say escape. He's like, we can, a way out of this place would be nice. If I knew how to do that, I wouldn't be here. What about some more realistic? Here we go. We did we did the perfect sequence. Oh, can we do love again? Okay, it's the same. I thought maybe we, we unlocked a hidden... Okay, hack tool. We heard you took a tool from a man named Mr. Blue. Oh, him? Yeah, we took this weird tool from him. We only did it because we thought he was a guard. You know, since he's dressed in blue and all, we haven't been able to figure out how to use it. Yeah, why is Mr. Blue dressed in blue but everyone else is in the orange, like, prison garb? You can have it. It would only distract us from our training. Isn't it kind of redundant that the, the spotlights are on during the daytime? <laughs> Dude, the hacker tool. That just looks like a Super Nintendo controller with joysticks attachment. Or like the uh, the Wii Classic controller, which looked like a Super Nintendo controller. I thought that being tall would make me good at basketball, but it seems there's more to it than that. The name's Big Brandon. Oh. They haven't changed at all since that basketball game. An 8-bit do controller, yeah. Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Blue. Have you found my hacker tool? Yes, we won the game of basketball. Wait, you actually won? What, did I just give him Tall Tony's voice? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, like fair and square? Yes, we're pros at everything we do. I honestly thought you were gonna just steal it from them. I'm impressed, maybe you're more useful than I thought. Well, you did in indirectly send me to prison, so... But let's not get hung up on the past. Time to test this baby out. See that junction box behind me? I sure do. It's directly connected to the searchlights you can see in the courtyard. Hey Joe, what's up? Those searchlights are completely harmless now. But don't get caught in them during the night. If you hack the junction box, you can shut them down. Go ahead and try it out. Alright, let's give it a shot. I'm sure the guards won't notice the lights go out instantly. Alright, let's get to hacking. Uh... Oh, um... Uh... Wow. I, I don't understand... Like, I understand that I was choosing a line to cut, but I... I, I don't know... I'm not an electrician, guys. I guess we want to do the bottom one? Wait. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm gonna cut the bottom one. But when I pick the bottom, it cuts the top one. So now what do I do? Just wait? Too slow. Okay, so 
If I cut the top one, I die. If I go to the bottom and select, it cuts the top one. And then if... Wait. I select off of it, cut again? I am so confused. Huh. I feel like... I was actually cutting... Oh, I wasn't selecting which wire to cut. It was just whatever it was on, that's what the power was going through. And then cut was just going to cut down straight through it. Okay. There was a couple times in the first episode where the micro game was a little confusing, I feel like. So I guess that's one of those. But I mean, at least, you know, we had as many tries with it as we needed. Wow, look at that. The lights actually turned off. Looks like the hacker tool does hack after all. Alright, we did it. Perfect, it looks like the hacker tool still works. Now I can tell you the next step of my master plan. Let's make our way to the factory. The prison has a factory? Yes. I've been pretending to be a guard there for the past few days. It's the door next to that guard near the fence. Oh, before you leave. Do you mind if I walk along with you guys? I can easily get you into the factory. I mean, this is usually a three skeleton. Sure, you can walk with us. Dude, Mr. Blue joined our party. <coughs> he, he looks just like the guards. Why are they letting him dress like that? Because <laughs> his name is Mr. Blue? Well, his name is Mr. Blue after all. It's only right. Aren't you three a little too young to be in a place like this? Yes. Yes, we are. At least this place will make you tough. What are you in for? I fake being able to play the drums. Wait, that was us. Crazy what they'll put you in for nowadays. Yeah, Righty did that in the first chapter of the first episode. He kind of played it off though. Why are these windows so high up? Is this a joke to them? Yes. Exactly what it is. Hey, let me do the talking, okay? Some of the people here believe I'm a guard just because I wear blue. Hello, fellow guard! Hello, fellow kids! Uh... Yes, guard blue. Who are those prisoners with you? Oh, these fine gentle bones here, yes. They showed great interest in doing something with their lives, and... I thought I could show them how fun it is to work in the factory. So I'd like to show them around in here. It could give the factory some extra manpower. Ah, yes, that'd be good. Shipments are getting bigger. Just be sure they're not snooping around too much. But what's over here? Okay, we'll go to the factory first. Fair enough. Working these machines takes my mind off things. Alright, we're here. This is the factory. It's where all the magic happens. I don't really know what, what magic though. I've been trying to find out what they're shipping out here. But nobody wants to tell me. But you can see that over you see that over there? That's a train. Yes it is. Coincidentally, it's also our way out of this prison. They're currently loading up the train. It's set to leave tonight. All we have to do is get on that train right as it leaves. And how are we going to do that? Don't worry boys, escaping prisons is sort of my best skill. That and stealing. They go hand in hand most of the time. It's risky to give you the full plan. Also, sorry, I never read uh, Joe's comment. He said that he just bought a new Xbox 360 and he's transferring all his data over. And I like I like that you're such like a uh, you're such a dedicated console collector. I would totally be like that too if I had like um, the the 
extra funds for it, I would just be getting like a PS3 just to get like PS3 games that I don't have, like that I can't play otherwise. Um, okay. I've been told you're staying in the perfect cell. There's a vent hidden in your room. Climb through the vent and you'll find some fans. I have an associate stationed past the fan that goes down. We'll explain the rest of the plan to you. Now, go forth, my prisoners. We'll meet each other again at midnight. Okay. I want to talk to more people. Hello, sir. I'm just a harmless skeleton boy. Seems like we're behind on schedule. Oh, are you three here to help out? Um, yes. Well, get to work then. Don't start slacking now, prisoner. Hello, new friend. How many boxes do they want us to package? At least 12. Prisoner's sleeping on the job. He's sleeping with his eyes open, that's pretty impressive. I was being too rough with the boxes. There's white liquid all over the floor now. Milk? Are they shipping milk? Move along, nothing to see here. Stay back, prisoner. Don't try and make a run for it. It won't work. The prison guard seems to be tossing off. Like prisoner, like inmate. Alright, we've talked to everybody in here, I think. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, nope, not him. Ah, we can't talk to him, he's too high up. He's up on his high horse where we can't reach him. Stay out of the storage, prisoners. Pick up that can. What do you guys think the mysterious white substance is? Perhaps it's liquefied bones? Perhaps it's it's pure refined calcium. All right, I'm gonna check out this. See if it'll let us go in this area. Oh, it let us. This might just be a shortcut back to the cells. Let's see. Yep, it is. You hear a voice coming through the prison's intercom. Is this thing on? Hello. Wave if you can hear me. Okay, I see someone waving. At least I think they're waving. Never mind that. It's getting late, prisoners. Everybody head back to your cells. It's lights out time. Okay. Every time there's a physics-y thing in a game cutscene, even nowadays your your brain immediately goes, pick up that car. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, like, I barely played any Half-Life. Like, especially barely any of two. I've probably only done, like, the first, like, five or ten minutes. But I, I, I even I remember that part. This door will take you to the courtyard. Oh, yeah. So it's time for bed. Oh, boy. I can't wait to get a nice rest. Let's go to sleep for now. So we're supposed to meet up with Mr. Blue at midnight. Whoa. Try and find the vent. Okay, this is gonna be a micro game. Oh! Would you look at that? It was behind my bed all along. I forgot Righty's like the strong boy of the group. He just tossed the bed over. The vent Mr. Blue is talking about. Alright, let's open this thing. Yes. Oh, here's the movie. H-K-D-T-H-2-D-R This is like Mario teaches typing. Hey, this is a pretty small vent. Are we all gonna fit in this? We'll just have to make it work. Enter the vent. 
Oh, it's a lot bigger on the inside. Wow, these vents are more spacious than I thought. I could get used to this whole escaping prison thing. I know, we're just like walking around, standing up <laughs> through, through the vent. Bridie stares at the vent intensely. What are you doing? Wait, just give me a moment. I'm trying something. Duka! Would you look at that? The vent open. What does he have? Telekinetic powers now? Well, I guess we're not getting back to our room now. And we're backing out now. We're actually breaking out of prison. Alright, Mr. Blue told us to hack these fans. Time to put this hacker tool to good use. Um. Oh, right, with the junction box, that would make sense. Okay, so it's probably gonna be the same thing, but. Oh, never mind. Wait, what? Okay. Now, the buttons are different every time, which I don't know how I feel about that. Because now it's JK. Alright, give me a second. Okay. This plays, uh, like an old, like. Almost like an old, uh. Game and Watch game. Hang on, I need to figure out exactly. Oh, I'm. Okay, I think I get it. Huh, how am I supposed to get it to the right? Because it. If I don't. Or maybe the fan will suck it in? See, I need it to go to the right now, but I don't, I don't... Hmm. So it goes to the left. There we go. Oof. That was a tricky one. Okay, we actually did it. Let's hop through that fan. Hop through that fan. I don't think this is the fan Mr. Blue is talking about. Yeah, look, whoops. I don't think we want to go there just yet. Sorry, what did it say? The one that goes back to the main chamber. Okay, go this way then. Have I tried tilting my 3DS? No. Who the heck is this? Oh, the associate. Boys, it seems you've made your way over here after all. Three young boys having to escape a prison. What does the world come to? Blues asked me to catch, uh, touch up that hacker tool of yours. What are you gonna do to it? Has Blue not given you the full plan yet? No. He didn't want to talk about it in public. I'll be upgrading that hacker tool, allowing you to open doors as well. Currently, all doors in the prison are locked. For obvious reasons. There's a control tower in the middle of the main hall. It has direct control over all the doors in this prison. If you hack into that, you can open all the big doors. That'll allow you to walk straight to the factory. You'll still have to sneak around all the guards, though. Blue will be waiting for you there. Okay. Alright, this will just take a moment. Did he just tape a ruler to the contraption? There we go. Now this bad boy should light open doors. Good luck with your escape. You'll need it. Good luck. You'll need it. Aren't you coming with us? Oh no, boys. I gave up on escaping a long time ago. Dude, it's it's like when you spend so much of your life in prison, you can no longer live on the outside world. You're too used to, to the inside. That's how hacking works. Dude, it's like the, the, what is it called? The Fortress of Solitude and Wind Waker? Check out the Panopticon? Not Panopticon. What the heck? That's what those things are called? A panopticon? Forsaken, forsaken Fortress. 
That's what it's called. Lefty, do your hacker thing. Let's see, what are we working with here? Also, this seems like the first chapter where it's not like especially focused on one of the three brothers. They seem to all kind of share equal part here. Because each chapter before, they focused on like one brother especially. In order to hack the factory doors, we need a password. Wonder if I can override the string vector to reroute gate control. How can you be so cute and so smart? Hack the factory doors. Find the combination. Um. Oh. Oh, I was actually trying to hit numbers on my keyboard. These are a little, these instructions are a little too, uh, so... I mean, oh, okay, I see. I get it now. I get it now. I wasn't sure which direction they were going to go in, now, now I know. So... That's a, that's a interesting idea for a game there. Uh, Panopticon because there are vantage points where you can theoretically see everything. Gotcha. Are the factory doors hacked? Consider the door locks our... our vert? Or ver? Over? Was that French for over? Wait, weren't you supposed to open them? It's French, righty. The doors should be open. The doors speak French? Okay. We did it. I'm gonna hide back here. Now come this way. No! Okay, I don't think I can go this way. Oh, it keeps going! Oh. Okay, I think we have to go left. Wait, which door am I trying to open? Was I supposed to come down here? Maybe I wasn't supposed to come down. They would have said though, like, right? Like, oh, we shouldn't go down here. Oh, there we go. The spotlight does go down after a while. So, we just have to wait for it to drop down right about... Jesus. Okay, there we go. But then it goes up again. So yeah, no, there's- we can't go this way. Um... Hmm. Music's getting more intense. Maybe we go this way. No, because that goes back and forth. Well, we were trying to go left first, and it said we should go to the Panopticon first, so I, I got to imagine... That means we want to come down here. I'm just not understanding how I'm supposed to get past this light right here. Can I open one of these doors? I can't outrun it. Yeah, see? Uh-oh. Caught in the light. Um. Damn it, I didn't, uh... Rewind tape. Please. Yeah, these these micro games are a little too like. There's a little too much extra to learn on them for you to like. Figure out what they want you to do, as quickly as usual. Like for Wario games. I don't know wh where they want me to go though. Because I can't outrun it. Oh, maybe I stand right here in the shadow. No, but that's... The light will just... Show me anyway, right? That's what a light does. Yeah, okay. Damn, really? That's really, uh... Hmm...
I'm gonna try to go this way, screw it. Yeah, you have to press it like quite early. Too sneaky for jail. Alright, well that's a dead end. It's like one of those arcade machines where it's set up so that you have to press it like quite early. Uh, Futility, this is like, imagine if they took WarioWare and mashed it up with Paper Mario, and this is basically that Spookware. I'm just gonna run into the lights now, because I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid these lights. I legitimately don't know. We're too sneaky for jail, don't you know? Imagine we want to come down here. Do we want to go to the courtyard? I, I forget where we're supposed to be going. The sneakiest shot in the West. I don't think that's usually what they call it, but fair enough. Whoops. That's okay. It's actually nice that they give you a chance to escape the light, and once you know how to do it, it's pretty consistent. I mean, once I figured out the timing for it, I don't, I don't think I've... I assume we want to go to the factory, because that's where the train is. Yeah, there's Mr. Blue right there. Hey boys, over here. I really don't get how you were supposed to avoid a lot of those spotlights, though. I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect you to make it here. You three are full of surprises. Now, the next step of my master plan. We'll have to maneuver our way through this factory, to that train. Just make sure not to get caught by the searchlights. And if you get caught, make a run for it. I'll be right behind you. See, that seems to like imply that we would have been avoiding the spotlights earlier. The format, usually adventure game... Yeah, pretty much like what Fax saying. Maybe. Maybe they were purposefully unavoidable. Um... Yeah, it's interesting because you'll get like these one-off micro games, which, which like lets you accomplish things outside, and then you'll get like a round of micro games eventually, which we haven't gotten to yet in this chapter. Uh oh. Hello, Mr. God. Can we be friends? I want to talk to him. Whoops. I want to talk to the guard. Someone there? No, not me. Whoever told you that's lying. That guard's like active, so we should probably avoid him. Hey, we made it to the train. Oh, halt! Stop right there, skeleton scum! Halt in the name of the law! Wait, what? Did, is this part of the story? You boys thought you could escape this prison? You must have forgotten that nobody escapes this place. Wait, Guard Blue? What are you doing with these prisoners? Uh, fellow guards, I was tailing these prisoners the whole time, yes. I was planning to snatch them the moment they hopped on the train. But it seems you were one step ahead of me. That sounds awfully suspicious. I say we throw these prisoners in isolation for the rest of their days. Wow, throwing us under the bus. Sounds like a good punishment for trying to escape, doesn't it? That does sound like a good punishment, yes. In the meantime, I'll check if they've taken anything from the train. We didn't even get to the train. You never know with these wretched prisoners. Will you take them to isolation cells in the meantime? All right, we could do that, yes. Mr. Blue, you're going to escape without us, but, um, Guard Blue, 
Don't stay on the train too long, it's bound to leave soon. Wait, Mr. Blue, are you really leaving us like this? That's Guard Blue to you. Don't act familiar with me, prisoner. I trusted you. You were like a father. Don't, Lefty. He doesn't deserve your kindness any longer. Alright, enough with the talking. Off to the isolation cells with you three. Is the joke going to be- are we all going to actually be isolated or are they going to isolate us together? <laughs> Man, Mr. Blue. He's been with us since chapter two and now he's betrayed us. I mean, three of the chapters have been connected because of him. Because the second chapter was him on the murder um, ship. The third one we were running his restaurant, and now the fourth one we're in the same prison as him that he's helping us with. I can't believe that, yeah, they've isolated us together, which kind of defeats the purpose. Can't believe Mr. Blue betrayed us. I can't believe we got caught. I thought we really had it. Don't you think it was all a little too convenient? This was probably Mr. Blue's plan from the beginning. Sacrificing us to get out of prison by himself. Well, I guess we're stuck in here forever then. For real this time. Yeah. Maybe this chapter of our life doesn't have a happy ending. No, no, no. Oh! Wait a minute. There's something suspicious over here. Hmm, I feel something weird here. This panel, it's loose. Push it. Push it. Maybe try pulling it? I would think pull. Let's try pulling first. It'll be easy to push it after the fact. You grab the panel, pull it to the side. There's something behind this wall. Wait, is that one of those junction boxes? It's too dark to clearly see, but the shape looks the same. Alright, let's 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 try our handy hacker tool. Ow! Oh, that wasn't the right place. Oh, what did you do to him? Maybe, uh, here? Alright. Alright, I'm seeing a lot of options here. I think we can work with this. I could maybe rewire the button. So that it opens the door instead of the light? Perfect. That's just what we need, Lefty. Hack the button. Time to hack in the dark, like a sick dude. R F. Oh man. Um. Perfect. We just needed the four mediums. <laughs> that one I understood, but I thought it was would have. I didn't expect to get that on my first try. <laughs> All right, that should should have done it. Well, the light's already on. Now. Oh. Ah. Wait a minute. Maybe we could open it now by standing on the button. We can. Now what? Can we like... Nothing more to hack here. Okay, I may not have thought this through fully. What do you mean, Lefty? The button only opens the door when someone's standing on it. We can't go through it unless one of us stays on the button. Are you saying we have to leave one of us behind? No, righty, we're not leaving anybody behind. There has to be another way. Huh? <gasps> Boys. Mr. Blue? What are you doing here? I thought you escaped. I thought you left us to rot in a cell. I thought you were taller. Putting you three in a cell was never part of my plan, believe me. I never would have guessed they up security around here. I got on the train and realized I'd made a grave mistake. You three are the first skeletons I bonded with like this. I knew I was going to make a big mistake. If I took that train out of this prison without you three, so I knocked out the conductor and ran back here. I was trying to find a way to open the door, but it looks like you found a way yourself. You three always find a way, don't you? Yeah, about that. It's not really perfect. What do you mean? You got the door open. Well, the door only opens when somebody stands on this button. So we'd have to leave someone behind for us to get out. Oh, how cruel Lady Fate is to put us in a position like this. Move off the button, boys. 
Wait, Mr. Blue, what are you going to do? What kind of skeleton would I be if I were to separate you brothers? I may be a thief, but I'm no animal. No, Mr. Blue, you don't have to. We'll find a way. It's okay, Lefty. I've been escaping for so long. There comes a time in a skeleton's life where they have to stop running. This is my time. I'll open this door for you boys. Get on that train. Get on that train and escape this prison once and for all. Mr. Blue. Thank you. I'll never forget you. Don't worry about me, boys. Well, he said don't worry about him. Time to go. Wow, Mr. Blue sacrificed himself. He redeemed himself at the last moment. So what now? Well, it seems like they've tightened security. If we want to get out to the train, we'll have to do something. Something that'll distract all the guards. I'm all for causing trouble. Let's head to the Panopticon. Alright, Panopticon, here we come. Sounds like a, like the, the secret third transformer. You have the Autobots, the Decepticons, and the Panopticon. It's a Panopticon. Look out. Whoops. Oh my gosh, I fell through the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's a hidden faction, exactly. Minicons were a third faction in one of the series. We're the Minicons. We're like you guys, but we're larger. Hey, doesn't this terminal control everything in the prison? Yeah, I think so. Why do you ask? Could we potentially just hack everything? You mean, unleash my full power? Just bust that system up, little guy. I'm sure that'll make for some chaos. I wonder, perhaps if I overload the chip controller. Play the prison tapes. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be the, our full round of micro games. This might be hard, because these ones usually involve the whole keyboard. Select papers. Okay, so fine. Oh. I thought it was just going to be YK. No! My fat finger hit two buttons at once. Back the main. R, 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 R. That's how you hack? Wait, he died? What happened? What did I do wrong? Uh... Yeah, at least we got one. Kiko, I, I defeated the darkness. No more darkness. Wait. The code is- oh my god. Oh, I missed the target. Wow, these are complicated micro games. I just saw the F and I was like, okay, time to hit the F button. Um... I was supposed to stay in the middle at what point? Oh, for the R? Alright, let's try this again. the letters are a little bit larger. Sometimes I can uh, be a little tricky Just when they're moving like that. There we go. 
got this. Create the burger. Uh, do I just press? Oh, right. I was building the burger from top to bottom like a dingus. It's supposed to be bottom to top. Trace the path. Um. So. Damn! Wow, that is. I don't even know if I was doing that right. These are really complicated. Okay, so now I press... Oh, see, the problem is... You have to, like, release the bomb early, because it keeps moving along with the scope. Like, when the scope's moving, the bomb will keep going with the scope. So I was trying to hit, like... Yeah. See, you wouldn't know that That's the first time. And I, I didn't know catch that the first time either because I uh, I just hit F. I wasn't really paying attention to the uh, what was happening there. Oh, I see. So I want to stay here. What? Wait, I was in the middle, wasn't I? Okay. That's fishy. It ended with me in the middle, so I don't... Okay, I'm gonna try this one again. Is that not why? Okay, now I don't even know. I... I... I don't... Oh, I think I get that one now. Damn, these are really complicated. Like, compared to any of the other chapters. Maybe I'm supposed to hold it down? Wait, what happened? It seems the illusion poses a challenge. I've never seen this before. Would you like some assistance? No. Don't ask me. What? Wow, I'm embarrassed now, because that never happened to me in the, any of the other chapters. Apparently, that happens if you fell too much. B. You can't hold it. I don't understand what they want from me there. Okay. okay. I get that one now. You think it would spell a word there, so it's kind of... I can't even pay attention to what's happening in most of these because they're so complicated I'm like looking around for letters than like any visuals. <laughs> Honestly. So it might have been a slender reference. Okay. Okay, so... There we go. Yeah, you had to release it like very... Man, it's so hard to read those. What? <sighs> okay, so the bun, and then two meats, and then two tomatoes, and then the. Okay.
No, I would. I got confused because I thought I was doing another one. Damn it! This one is. I'm. I'm curious to read reviews on this because these are so much harder to do than any of the other ones have been. I mean, what if someone's just not? Um, I'm like decent with typing on a keyboard, but when I'm when I'm thrown in this situation where I need to oh two patties, god damn it! Like on the spot, I just completely. I should have just restarted. I failed the first game. Another thing is the timer starts going while there's text on the screen that's blocking what you're supposed to be starting to do. The HUD is a little small, which, you know what, if it was bigger that would probably help, honestly. I don't think it was a problem with any of the previous chapters, it's just this one, um, it would be good to, to, to see those things up a bit closer. I don't know what to do here. That time it worked. Yeah, I don't think playing with a controller would work for this one. Um. followed the wrong thing tonight. Damn it! It's all like red now, so it's hard to see. Okay, come on, baby. Yeah, this color tone is not make, making it... Oh great, we're at the boss, we have one chance. This is if if you're someone who's not good at typing on a keyboard, I think this would be impossible for you. Unfortunately. But if you if it's true what you say and then there is a controller support that make it easy, but it seems like um my progress has not been saved yet. That's weird. These games were like specifically keyboard focused though. I'll have to look into that later. Alright, just decrypting this last batch. And done. That should completely overload the systems. Ooh. Uh oh. Um. Oh my god. What have we done? Is everyone okay? There's a later chapter that's only controller? Huh. What was that? Lefty, did you do this? Maybe I hacked it a little too much. Well, we certainly made a distraction. Oh, Steam Deck is only controller. Hmm. 
Wouldn't this potentially be the chapter they're talking about that doesn't work with Steam Deck because there's no keyboard on the Steam Deck? Um, there's also uh, a chapter that's only the mouse, like most of it's just mouse. Where are we? It looks like we're on under the underground again. Good thing this destroyed pillar saved our fall. Let's see where this takes us. This tunnel seems to go to a mine shaft. Ooh, maybe we'll find some ores to mine. Enter mine shaft, yes. The fugitive lifestyle. Hmm, an actual mine shaft under the prison. Seeing as how it was disconnected. I don't think it's been used in a long time. I doubt anyone even knew this was down here, especially with the water preventing access to it. percussion instrumental. Do you feel that? The fresh air on our bones. The sweet light at the end of the tunnel. The weirdly sweet taste of this snow. Ugh. You know, it's like a snow cone. A scone, if you will. I don't think that's a scone. Ice crunching sounds. Let's just go and see where this takes us. All right, have we finally escaped? We're just gonna be in the courtyard, probably. Oh, wait, this mine shaft actually led somewhere. Wow, and there's the train. It hasn't left yet. Looks like we broke out of prison after all, boys. Let's hop on that train. But what about Mr. Blue? Don't worry, Lefty. If I know anything about Mr. Blue. It's that he's the best at, at escaping prisons. Oh yeah, the music's really good. I'm gonna uh, look around here just for a bit. Well, this is very convenient. It's definitely a storage train. Look, it's got all the graffiti on it. That's how our storage trains look. Where I live. How do I get up there? Oh look, this wagon's still open. Let's hop on. This isn't my preferred type of metal steed, but it'll do. All right, here we go. Oh, I think we beat the chapter. But wow, so there was, okay. Because now we're doing our recap. Well, we're officially criminals now. Escaping prison puts you on some kind of super criminal list, right? Technically, we already were criminals. Then we did the tax fraud. When we did the tax fraud, it was not our fault. How were we supposed to know? It's kind of amazing we got out in the first place. Security was airtight in there. And with Lefty's amazing hacking skills, it was a breeze. It was tough, but we made it work. I'm gonna miss our basketball sessions. Didn't we only have the one session? But I beat the toughest gang in prison at their own game. On my first try, no less. No, it wasn't. <laughs> that is not true. Aww, oh, I hope Mr. Blue's doing okay in there. He was a real hero sacrificing himself like that. Ah, oh, bros, we can't let ourselves get stuck in the past. We got a whole bone-ass world to see. Whoa! Cursing. You're right, righty. You gotta look ahead. Yeah, ahead being wherever this train is taking us. Ooh, where's it gonna take us? I think that was a joke about the air. We unlocked new tapes. I guess we are going to do the whole uh, episode 2 tonight because we're on to the next chapter. Boner. Oh my god. Boner Express. I just said it out loud without even thinking. <laughs> I was just saying it out loud like a narrator. 
This is the Bonar Express. Okay, whatever. Let's just let's just hop let's just hop into this. Let's forget about this. Did that ever happen? First a prison bus, now a train. I'm starting to miss that car of yours, Righty. We're gonna have to pay so many parking fees. Focus, guys. Did you forget that we're on the run now? Huh, oh, most games where you're on a train, like in Thousand Year Door, it's like a passenger train, but this is a cargo train. Actually, I don't know a lot of games where you're on a train, except Thousand Year Door, but I'm sure there's more. Wow, we actually did it. We escaped the most secure prison in the world. I didn't really f feel that secure. So what do you think is in these boxes? Could be anything. Maybe we should open one of the boxes. Wow. Don't you know how dangerous that is? This whole train could be housing bone-eating monsters. Really? Righty? That's what you're afraid of? I'm not afraid. I'm just prepared for any situation. I think it's milk. Honestly. I hope it's milk. These are all boxes from the factory. Let's go through this door. It's probably better to move to the front of the train. If you insist. Oh bones, these boxes are blocking our way. How are we gonna get past them? I have an idea, get on my back. What? Get on your back? Yeah, just wet, wedge a foot in between a bone or something. I'll get us over these boxes. Parkour over the boxes. Oh! Let's see if I still got this. Ooh, this one's a whole different hub. I was just thinking, like, if they used a different hub, it might be... Yeah, okay. Anyways, let's see. I think I used the mouse to look around. Then I used Wasad to move and space to jump. Ooh! Oh, that's sick. What the heck? I was not expecting this. There's no time limit or anything right now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Smooth moves. Is that a reference? Oomph. There we go. There we go, and I even stuck the landing. That was really cool. Dude, I hope we get to do that again. That was cool. I think I might enjoy the, uh, the micro games in this one. Wow, they really don't care about those these boxes, do they? Wait till management hears about this. This yeah, boy, 200 yen. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now we got it. See, they actually taught us how to play before initiating the uh, the fuse. So now we already know ahead of time. I still got it. All right, let's keep going and see where this train's headed. Is this the chapter that's not compatible with Steam Deck? Because I can kind of see why. Since you use the mouse. I mean, they could have just put the mouse to the right stick, I guess, but... Look, some mattresses. We could maybe sleep here. I am feeling pretty tired. Uh, escaping prison took a lot out of me. We'll just have to make our way across these hay bales. The mattresses. They're so far away. <laughs> this is one hay bale. Whoa, I don't remember it looking like this. Hell yeah. Oh, bones. Finally, a place to rest. I'm claiming the middle mattress. Wait, there's four mattresses. Yeah, usually there's conveniently room for three. Something isn't right here. Hmm. What's this? Someone left a note here? Lefty opens a note and starts reading. I knew it. Dear boys, it is I, Mr. Blue. If you're reading this, it means that I'm still in prison. And have probably sacrificed myself so you three could escape. Which is very cool and selfless thing of me to do, I know. I had set up this cabin for us to sleep in after our escape. If everything's as I left it. There should be a pile of clothes. Your regular outfits should be in there. Put them on. 
I may have stolen a pair out of your luggage on the cruise ship. Don't worry too much about me. I'm sure we'll meet again. There's not a single person that can contain me. Oh, Mr. Blue. Don't worry, Lefty. I have a feeling we'll see him again. Let's get out of these prison outfits and get some sleep. So our clothes should be somewhere in this pile. Time to start searching. Oh, it's going to be a micro game. Yes, search through the pile. Oh, fuck, I see you missed what I... My unfortunate, um... What I said out loud when this chapter started. It's okay. You don't need to know. This feels much better. Yeah, let's put all the weird prison stuff behind us now. We're reformed skeletons now. Let's finally get a good night's rest. Dude, we actually have our classic original clothes on. Well, fact, if you see the name of this chapter again, is there a way to tell? You'll, you'll know what I said out loud without even thinking about it. I'm sure it'll come up again. Let's get some sleep. Go to sleep? Yes. Whoa, oh, right. Usually whenever we would fall asleep, the, this devil man would show up. The only time he didn't show up was in the last chapter, except ironically, when it was that optional appearance for him if asking if we need help. So anyway, you three again. How are you able to defy my will? Hey, it's that critic. Oh, he was also a food critic. That was really not cool sending us to jail like that, man. Also, geez, this text, out of control. Foolish mortals, stop your bickering. You haven't a clue the powers you are facing. Feel my wrath. Oh my god, he just tore open space-time. Oh, <laughs> fuck, yep, that's... I even did the freaking voice. I did the Tom Hanks train conductor. Um... These dreams are really getting weird, huh? Wait, did you also dream about that critic making a cut in space-time? Called it. Yeah, now that you mention it, you were there. Hey, I dreamt the same thing. Something weird's going on here. Yeah, do you notice the space-time with little space, like, rubber duckies? Yeah, I guess they don't notice. This is... The Bone Hour Express! What is that thing? Some kind of alien? I think that critic created it. I like how they just call him the critic now, because he was the he's the devil, but now he's just the critic. I wanna slap it so bad. Oh! Strange little creature. Seems like a tough little guy. Whoops, I skipped a bunch of stuff because I Is that it? I just knock it out of the way? My bad, I didn't mean to skip all that dial- Okay, I see. I just want to get him out of the way and then... Could try to slap him with the left mouse. You're not gonna kill it, are you? Nah, I'll just nudge him out of the way so we can pass. Okay, that, that was the dialogue we missed. Okay, that time he was not out of the way. Let's try that again. There we go. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Oh, Bones, did we just kill it? No, we barely even touched it. Yeah, tell that to the judge when you, you go. They're gonna end up in super gel at this rate. Wait, what the heck? This is a passenger train. This is half cargo train, half passenger train. Is that even possible? Got him. Hey man, thanks for taking care of that weird alien thing. It was scaring the absolute bones out of me. Bones just like a catch-all word like Smurfs using Smurf for everything. 
But dude, back in this one, you use Wasad and the mouse to, uh, to do stuff, which is really cool. And I I'm guessing that this might be the one that the Steam Deck wasn't compatible with. Ah, oh, damn, you also got me from behind. Let's try this again. Okay, I need to like him. There we go. No! Yes, first person slapper, exactly. Such a tight fit. Oh! Oh, wait, how do I. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh nice, it counted as both of them. It's nice to see today's youth use public transport and beat up aliens in the process. Yes, we're going on a big road trip around the world. That's amazing, I wish I did that back in my heyday. Unfortunately, this old pile of bones can't move like it used to. Oh man, I was stuck. Whoops. Why do you have to come and ruin it? Hey, the alien attacked us first. Dude, you weren't supposed to be able to talk to him until after you took out the alien. That's kind of funny. I, I'm not gonna make that. I don't think I want to slap these guys unless like it's an emergency slap. This one I can slap. Cause these ones I need them to move. Uh, I need I need them to move so I can jump over them. Okay, maybe not all of them. But that one. There we go. Well jumped. Sorry, he's like I was talking to that fine, gentle, gentle alien. <laughs> Don't you think it's weird that this train stopped at a prison? What if one of those filthy prisoners got on? No, no, no. There's no way that happened. Hey guys, that alien looks a little different. Let's be careful, who knows what it can do to us. What's with these floating three-dimensional passengers? They're so rowdy. I didn't even think about that, they're 3D. None of us are 3D. Oh, they can shoot bullets. That's the difference. Jesus. You know, I'm just gonna run under them when they go up. I'm not gonna try to slow. Never mind, I think I have. Actually, I don't know anymore. Okay, we got it. It's fine. Bullet dodger. Stylish Traveler. What's a skeleton's favorite food? I can't speak for everyone, but I really like lasagna. I thought I was gonna say spare ribs, huh? Grow up. I wasn't, sir. I was waiting for your answer. Yeah, that that is a good way to emphasize their alienness from another they're from another dimension. As we know, crowded train. Oh no! They got me! Oh man, who's hitting me? Oh, I can't make that jump. I have to, uh... Oh, yep, yeah. um... Huh. Okay, I need to like be up higher. Here we go. That was my problem. Yeah. Surviving peak hours. Peak hour uh, trains, like in uh, like Tokyo, for instance, is pretty insane. 
They literally have people who push, like, cram uh, the passengers into the train so they'll all fit. Like, they literally just cram them in like sardines in a can. Thanks for getting rid of that weird alien, boys. Did you really have to parkour around the cabin like that? Yes, it was very vital to our success. Test of skill. Or is it test of skull? No, he blasted me. I think I need to slap him before he can get a shot off. Whoops. Skelly fall down the hole. Hope that works. No, no. Uh, there's a hole in my floor. That was the famous line from Toy Story, right? Oops, we got this. Damn. He's in front of you? You in trouble. Damn. You sound like you're getting thwomped when you f when you fail. Mm, like that. Yes! Hell yes. Please close the door when you leave this cabin. There's too much wind outside. Did a cage just close behind us? What the heck? Kind of sketchy. There's a lot of space on this train. Look at the seats. Whoa. That's not safe. Seems like this door is locked. Guess we'll have to go back. wonder if we could get it open somehow. Um... Use the hacker tool. Whoa, a conveniently placed ladder. Guess we have no choice but to climb on top. Wait, don't we have a choice to not risk our lives again? Climb up the ladder and live life dangerously? Yes or hell yeah. That's a big alien fella. Guess we'll have to slap this guy extra hard. Put up the fight. He smooched us. Oh. Oh, I'm just supposed to go. I see. Wait, no I'm not. I'm supposed to actually fight him. Okay. Now I get it. Can I knock him into where the bad... Where the train will hit him? No, he, he doesn't really get pushed back very far, so I think I just need to wait until the train's coming on the middle side. Or whatever is going to hit him, not the train, the uh, the train signs. No, I fell down the middle. I guess I could go on the other side and... Damn it. Okay, now I should have enough space that by the time it comes... Is he shrinking when I hit him? I bet you need to hit him enough times. Okay, he's stuck here. He's not going any farther so I just need the one of those to come this way or do I just need to survive the whole time because it said put up a fight right seems like they're they're not showing up on the middle one at all I don't know I guess we'll see what happens when the timer runs out I remember that was a thing in the first game where the little Hints for what you're going supposed to do weren't always the best, the the, mo the most clear. Nope, too slow. So we do need to knock him into the path of one of those. See, put up a fight isn't a good hint, like for that. It's not even a hint. It's really just like a brief instruction, I would say. 
Oh, like, now I can't... There we go. The idea of this is fine, but it's 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 a little sloppily uh, done, I feel like. But that's fine. It is what it is. They don't... Un oh, what's that? A gun? I believe the correct term is blaster. Blaster. Looks like that big alien dropped it. We could use this to defend ourselves. Dude, dude is this actually going to become a real FPS? Unfortunately, Futility, you can't alternate slaps. You can only slap with one hand. I wouldn't want to face one of those big aliens again. At least not unarmed. You've received a blaster. Yeah, it's a blaster. You've received a blaster. I jumped the gun on the joke there. All right. Here we go. Onward we go. Nobody could stop us now. Wait, can we go to the one on the left? No. Look, utility, you gotta remember this is an indie game made by a small dev team. I didn't mean to make a pun fact, but yes, jump the gun. Don't wander too far out, kids. The next set of cabins are only for the upper class. You're gonna get judged if you walk around there. Did we just get poverty shamed? Do you even know who we are? We own a five-star restaurant in Bonehattan. It's true. Calm down, Ratty. They're not worth the trouble. I didn't play bongos for a day to be treated like this. That's how we graduated high school. I want to go to the upper class. Oh, we'll get there. Time to shoot back. Dude, now we have a gun. Oh, you squeeze the gun to fire it. That's kind of uncanny. The traveler's looking at the half-open window. I thought I left it here. Are you looking for something? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought I left my suitcase in this window here. But now it's open. You left your suitcase in the window? Yes, that way I never forget which suitcase is mine. It's always worked for me. Well, maybe I left it in another cabin. Hmm. Hmm. Interessante. You wanna battle me? You wanna battle me, little man? That's what I thought. Oh, oh no, he killed me! You don't have to kill them all, I don't think. I think you could just... Just as long as you make it to the exit, you're good. It's just safer to get them out of the way. I got a Skella Trooper achievement, which I think because I did a bunch of blasts, just missing the target. Oh, Bones, you three look way too poor to be in these cabins. Are you absolutely sure you haven't taken a wrong turn somewhere? We're not poor, okay? Is this guy traumatized? What's up with this dude? You see a staff member shaking in the corner. In all my years of living, I've never seen an alien. This is worse than seeing a dead body. Are you- is that the same guy who saw the dead body on the boat? That'd be pretty- pretty good. No, it wasn't a dead body, it was a... a like a disassembled skeleton, rather. Wait, was I supposed to do something else here? Oh. Okay, this time you have to kill them all to open the gate, I think. Yeah! I missed the the uh, the instructions on that, but we figured it out. Hell yeah. You'll use that defense in court. I've been trying to grab a book from this table, but the table's so big. That is a big table, you're right, what the heck? I know, What what is everyone in this world if not walking dead? 
Staff member is hurriedly cleaning the table. You hear them mumbling something under their breath. Just listen in. Why do I have to keep working when these aliens are here? It's all because of that weird deer face thing. I can't even enter the other half of the upper class anymore. Deer faced thing, hmm? It sounds familiar. Whoa. That's a lot of aliens. Shoot them all. Oh! Dude, this really is an FPS now. I did not expect that to happen. It makes sense though, because each chapter has its own theme. You know, it helps, it helps it set it apart more from Wario, where... I mean, the, the adventure walking around segments already do, but... This is nice to have as well. Yeah, it's your boy! It's your boy! Open the door! Hell yeah! This is not a Walking Dead game, no. I, I, I actually wasn't thinking about that when I said that. I was eating in peace until all these people stormed in here. They all came rushing in from the next cabin over. I wonder what's happening in there. Hey, you three, you took care of the alien just now, right? Yes, we valiantly slay everything on our path. You need to help us. Something weird happened to our cabins. One moment, everything was normal, then suddenly... I can't even describe it. Please check the cabins and get rid of those aliens. Cool. We're like alien busters now. Wow, kids, you don't want to go in there. There's something weird happening in the next cabin. You're better off just staying here with the rest of us. Don't worry. We've done this before. Oh, you have? Wait, we have? Stay safe. Okay. What could be in there? It can't be that bad, right? Oh! Wow, this cabin looks like the one in my dreams. We better tread carefully, guys. Who knows what's out there? What if this was just the game glitching and it wasn't supposed to be doing that? That dude's fine. He's just chilling. That one guy refused to, to leave his seat. Nope. Not getting out of this chair. New target. It sure takes a lot of hits. Oh, I'm not supposed to just keep blasting it. That's... Okay. I just had to change it the right color. Not bad. Whoa, bumpy ride, huh? <laughs> he doesn't even... Okay. He's fine. He's doing good. This cabin's even worse. We're getting closer. Use the rifts. Uh... Well... <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at landing on these. There we go. Oh, because I wasn't like landing, I was just walking onto them, so I kept walking, uh... I was walking to... Far, because I was trying to purposely like fall onto them, but you didn't have to do that. We did it! A little turbulence on the tracks tonight. I don't think train tracks should have turbulence, and if they do, you might be in trouble. This is uh, the most straightforward chapter yet so far. Watch your step. We're close, I can feel it in my bones. Oh my god, there isn't even a walls to this. The floor is missing too. Mo most of the floor and the walls anyway. Too far away. Oh no! Someone should mod it 
So it's Leon in RE4 if like Ashley dies. Leon falls to his knees and goes, oh no. Jesus. No! Can't believe they shipped the game like this with so many obvious bugs. I know, right? It's just... It's unacceptable, is what it is. Oh man, my depth of perception is always off right there. I keep thinking that that bigger one is closer than it is, and then when I jump, I see that smaller one pop up. I'm gonna keep that in mind this time. Damn it! Yeah, that time I was just rushing. I like that my, um. I like that my button presses and stuff are shown on the, uh. The HUD of the arcade cabinet. Nope! See me dodge out of the way of that real quick, the last second? There, I had to make sure I landed on that. Oh, that's the door. Wait. Oh! No, it wasn't. That was a window on the floor. Got him! Oh, whoops, I feel a strong ominous presence in the other room. I thought I was just gonna say, you wanna go to the other room. Um, everything looks normal here. Hey, this must be the front of the train. It looks a little off. Somehow. Time to put a stop to this. I wonder what button stops the train. We could just shoot the control board. Is it really important that we stop the train? I mean, all the passengers are fine, really, as long as they don't stick around in the wrong cabins. It's not elegant, but it might work. Wait, guys. I can't find my gun. Oh, we lost it? That's not good. <gasps> oh, it's the deer in 3D. Looking for this? Hey, the critic has my gun. Fools, you are right where I want you. No more games, the ride ends here. But first, let us make some room for our battle. Uh, oh. This is epic. Oh, what the? Oh, this is different. I think one of the balls flew over the basket. Oh no, one of my Skeleton Boys is dead. Only whack the red ones, okay. Oh! Look more like rabbits than uh, gophers. Whoa, what the? I don't know what happened right there. Flash the ghost. There he is. Got him. Come on, you see I'm gonna I'm gonna fall and die again probably because that happened uh Damn Okay, we'll get another shot at this. Yeah, the micro games in this game are a lot more complicated than the ones in WarioWare, which has po positives and negatives. Oh! I'm allowed to have more than one soccer ball. No! Make it to the other side. Oh! Oh, it's like... Really? That looked like I was going to land on the log. 
Oh man, that's not good. Finish the house. Oh, I can't do Minecraft. I actually don't know what what they want me to do. Like, I don't know what specifically I was supposed to do right there, honestly. Oh, come on. That didn't land on the box. The platforming in this, because I played FPS games where the platforming is like not hard for me. In this one, it is hard. I don't know exactly what it is in the difference like in design to make an FPS platformer work for me or not. This this one is a little harder. Yeah, I was trying to fill in the holes with the blocks, but I thought I had gotten all of them. All right. Damn it. You have to slowly draw the string every time. You don't have a lot of time there. All right, come on. Find the page. What? Okay. Okay, we've done this one. Oh, see, so you know the ball flew over. Damn it. I'm not gonna get it in time. But the other. Damn it! Ah! Uh, uh, neon white. No, I told you this already. Do, do you need help defeating me? Oh. You dummy. Alright. I also hope I'm not supposed to be slapping him because I don't think I can catch up to him in time to slap him. Did he actually miss me that time? I got an achievement for that. I didn't know you could avoid those. Okay, this is just... I panicked at the end there. Damn it. I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. Bounce me up, bounce me up. Come on. Okay. Looks like I'm getting farther, though. Damn it! Okay, this is the one I like always fail at, too. Oh, th there we go. Targets come up. Okay, oof. Reloaded my arrow that time. Only whack the ones. Like sheep. Yeah, those are only red ones. Whacked them to pieces, even. Protect the cake. Oh god. What? Damn it. That's a tricky one too, because you don't know which direction the uh, supplies are going to be coming from. Whoops. Maybe I should like wait? No, never mind. Because you can't always uh, dodge them anyway, so I might as well just Try to progress as fast as I can. <sighs> Make it to this upgrade. Man, it's it's just like um. So, is that right? Damn it! I don't play Minecraft. I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh boy. Okay. 
Okay, I think we actually got it that time. Hell yeah. Okay. That's fine. At least this one, I mean, I seem to get that one. Consistently. Zigzag. Whoa, this is different. Um, damn it, that was new, so I didn't know what I was doing. No. Okay. Maybe I should be a goalie. Wait, was that a baseball diamond that we were playing in? Damn it! I, I realized I whiffed that jump too. I'm gonna choke. comes out slower than the other one. No! <gasps> Damn it! You have to like catch the one that's coming up faster, I guess. But I, I don't. If you pick the wrong one, then it's too late. You don't have enough time. I just have to really hope he doesn't give me the ones that I, I don't understand how to play. This one, I, I get it. I'm just bad at it. I think the- because they go like way all over the place and it isn't like a system where they, they like they'll like magnetize into the boxes it, it uses like actual physics so that one's actually really hard too I haven't gotten that one once Jesus one I think I get every time unless Hell I get really yeah. unlucky or something. Okay, so don't let that guy get me. Um, I've only done this one once before and I failed it, so I'm... Is that it? Do I just grab it? Yes. Yeah. Damn it! See, I always back up after a game ends if I'm in the midair for safety, but that time it got me killed. Come on. Okay. My precious. Mr. Pocket, we found you, Mr. Pocket. Of course. No, I don't. Come on. I don't. Oh, I don't know. Oh, damn it. I can't do that one. Ah, uh, don't give me the Minecraft one. Oh, great. I can't solve Rubik's Cube, so that's a horrible example. <laughs> I'm trying to fill in the mixing box, I just can't do it, usually. Because I can't play- I'm not a Minecraft player. So they have to agree to not give me that one. Oh, I'm avoiding a lot of them this time. Oh boy. This one's kind of a crapshoot for me, I think. 
Damn it! Like I said, a crapshoot. I think we're making good progress. That's good. We skipped like a couple of them. I don't want to get cocky, but this one I usually am okay with. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Oh, come on. Oh, well, come on. I just didn't find it. What was I supposed to do there? Not be unlucky? And then the one I always fell. Okay, well. Ugh, it's just... And then I'm trying to move? What was that? There was something that was blocking me. How are you supposed to have time to do that one? You can't aim at open air, you have to click on a side of another cube next to it. the micro games if I don't play the micro games. Am I right, fellas? Oh. Oh, of course. Okay. <sighs> yeah, the ball one, it's the physics just make it, like, way too hard. I don't, like, I've never gotten that one. This one is also, like, for some reason I just have a lot of trouble, like, uh, I, sh I should have just been looking down. Time. That was my problem, I guess. But I was having a lot of problem estimating my jumps on that one as well. Okay, this is good. Another ghost busted. And busting makes me feel good. Oh, great. See, they... They really needed to make the balls, like, magnetize. I know that sounds cheap, but it's like... This is way too... I'm never gonna get that one. Okay, there was just, like, a lag there. This one we figured out. Yeah. The treasure didn't even pop out last time. That's funny. I didn't realize it would actually have a model of the treasure. Don't let them score. Okay. That I can do. Damn it, I had to scratch my face. I got itchy. I almost screwed up there. Okay, last one. No. Yes. There's no um cursed aim there's no um crosshair here which makes this one tricky. I hope we're close to the end. Okay, this one we're also usually good at. I don't want to jinx myself. Yes. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, this one's just luck based, because if I don't find the page, I don't find the page. I don't think it'd be like either side of the tree or what. I'm not gonna find it, am I? Of course not. Like, what could I have done differently there? Okay, I think we got to the end though. We got him cornered. What do we do now? Quickly, slap him. Oh! That detailed cutscene of a slap. Yeah, no, that's a great idea, exactly. They should have just had all of the, uh, the balls in a bowl. That way they weren't scattering everywhere, because that's what makes it, like, so difficult. The new line character still being in the text is a bit unfortunate. Um, the new line character? 
Okay. Arg. How did you know that bones are my weakness? Your, your own head is a big weakness for yourself then. Yeah, that was more of a punch than a slap, wasn't it? Look at that PS1 look in front of the train. Whenever you see a slash N in text, that's a new line slash line break character. Um... I'm not sure what you're referring to there. I knew it was milk. It's a big pile of spilled milk. Huh, seems like the train was transporting milk. Freddy licks the grass. Wow! This is some good stuff. That's... You probably shouldn't do that, Righty. Shouldn't be licking milk off of the ground. The Minecraft victory thing. There was a slash N in one of the minigame victory screens. Oh, like the, it left in like a code that was supposed to just be text. Is that what you're saying? Oh, good. Finally, someone's here. Excuse me, sir. There's just been an accident and milk gang is such an accident. You bet there'll be an accident when I'm through with you. Boss is, isn't going to be pleased to know her sh milk shipment was spoiled. You hooligans are going to have to do a lot of work to make up for it. Hey, that's not fair. It wasn't even us that crashed the train. Life ain't fair, punk. Or should I give you a taste of my knuckles? No, sir, we understand. We don't want any trouble. See, the little guy gets it. Now get in the car. Boss will know what to do with you lot. Did we just go straight from prison to crashing a train and now we're joining the Mafia? Is that what's happening? What you call a delimiter, something you include within a text string to tell the computer code how to parse it. I see, I see. Next time on Spookware, the Skelebros join the Milk Gang. The Milk Gang. Wait, is that a two-sided... limo? That's... Can't be street legal. Alright, here's our little, uh... Leather in the back of the car watching the TV. Recap. I like that they do these little recaps. I'm glad we got onto that train safe. And Mr. Blue even prepared a little sleeping area for us. Aw, oh, you're so cute when you're sleeping, Lefty. Wait, guys, if we were sleeping... Then... Who took this picture? Um... Oh, that's me. Wow, I look so cool. When did you take this? How did you take this? Yeah, those pesky alien guys were like constantly attacking us. Uh, that's my secret selfie technique. Alien doesn't know what hit him. Whoa, Mitty. You look like such a put together guy here. Yeah, like a true businessman taking a train. Hey, it was a pretty chill ride. Aside from all the fighting. I wonder why the train was all jumbled up at the end there. Yeah, I take it back. This train ride was pretty exhausting. I didn't know you were such a good jumper, Mitty. Even at the end, you never lost your footing. We might have lost your footing a few times. I think whatever's going on here, that critic is at the- Wait, that's a good point. There's humans driving us right now. That's kind of- Love it. I get seriously weird vibes around this dude. Maybe it's time we give this guy a piece of our mind. Really? You get weird vibes? Could it maybe be that the game starts glitching everywhere <laughs> whenever he's around? Yeah, I wonder. Maybe if we can track down who this guy is, then we can figure out what his deal is. First we gotta deal with these guys. Wait, didn't they say their shipment got ruined in the crash? Oh yeah, they did. Must be talking about that spilled milk. Hold on, I think I have an idea. 
All that milk got spilled because of the crash, right? Yeah. What are you getting at, my little guy? Well, they're going to want to get revenge, you know? Wait, but they think we did it. Well, if we can prove it was that scary deer-looking guy, then they'll lead us right to him. Hey, that might actually work. You're a smart little pile of bones, Lefty. Or we could lead them to the bone guy. Achieving a luck next -er time on Spookware. We probably, when we beat the first episode, it said next time on Spookware. So that's it. The, um... Episode 2 is a lot shorter than the first one, actually. Even the individual chapters, there was only two, they were, they were a lot shorter because it took me about four plus hours to do the three chapters in the first episode. Um, here it was about two hours total, one hour for each, per chapter. Um, I still enjoyed it a lot. Like, I don't mind that the chapters were shorter at all. Um, although hopefully the next episodes come, you know, as soon as we could get them. Composed by Victor Cross and a boy with a balloon. It's a good, uh, artist name. The Milk Gang possesses strange and unknowable powers. The, the, the micro game segments here were maybe a little bit trickier. Not always in the best way, but it was still really fun overall. And, and since you're not like severely punished by anything, it, it makes it a lot, you know, more smooth of a gameplay experience. Oh yeah, I'm sure it took a lot of work, and I'm and it's a pretty small dev team too. So, but thanks for playing. So yeah, I'm still enjoying this series a lot, and I think there's still two episodes to go. Let me um, we unlock new tapes. And by the way, I don't think I even ever got all the tapes. I think you have to like go back and play the um. I think if you replay. The chapter challenges, like there's more micro games than they show you completely. See, Bonar Express. So there's episode three, which will have two chapters. And then episode four will have a finale and an epilogue. And to clarify, it's, it's DLC, but it's free DLC because all I did was buy the base game with episode one. And when episode two came out, I got it for free. So if anyone's interested in purchasing this, you have two episodes out and then two more episodes in the future. Um, go to the basement real quick. Cause I think you can actually take a look at the micro games you've unlocked. Like how they call it the basement, but it's like, that's your whole home really. It's more like a bunker. Is an episodic release format old enough to be retro now? Yes. So I think here we can look at what tapes we have. Our movie collection. Yeah, take a peek. So, see, beat this tape at least once to unlock it. So there's certain tapes. You know what? These might just be micro games that we didn't, we never beat. So maybe we have seen all of them. We just haven't unlocked the right to play them whenever we want. Yeah, you know what? Judging by how many tapes we do have unlocked. One of these is the ball game. Yeah, that's exactly. We unlocked everything except the ball game. <laughs> so, okay, now, now I know uh, what that's all about. All right, well. Fun game, I recommend, you know, if this looks inter interesting to you guys, definitely give it a shot. Um, I will continue to play the parts as they come out, so we have two more episodes to look forward to. Yeah, good stuff. Well, I need to figure out what game I want to play next to continue our, our spooky month. Um, as always, you guys can drop suggestions in the Discord. Even if it's not a patron suggestion, you know. 
you give me a good idea, something that I like, you know, maybe I'll play it. But all right, that's going to be it for the night. Thanks everyone for joining. Hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you next time.